Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to talk about how to administer the Cervical Extensors Endurance Test, or CEET for short. So this is an analog of the deep neck flexor endurance test that we talked about in a previous video. Just like the deep neck flexors, some of the cervical extensors can also become weak following trauma, which might include a blow to the head in contact sports, or most commonly a motor vehicle accident. That'll probably be the most common uh, mechanism of injury in the clinic. This test allows you to qualitatively diagnose where potential weakness in the neck extensors is. Is it the more superficial neck extensors, the deep neck extensors, or potentially both? And so to conduct this test, the patient's going to be in prone like you see right here. The arms can either be held off the edge of the table or by the side, depending on what's most comfortable. And the head's going to be off the edge of the table like this. And then the patient is going to get in position and hold a chin tuck like you see right there. Now again, just like the deep neck flexor endurance test, the PT can either passively move the head into the position and let go, after which the patient has to hold this position, or the patient can actively move into the position like you saw I did right there and hold it. Again, the time is going to begin as soon as the correct position is achieved. So the test begins right there. That's when we start the 20 seconds. And this test is not so much seeing how long they can hold the position. Uh, we're really just going to hold it for 20 seconds. We're really, though, concerned about what the reaction of the neck is. Are they able to hold this position? Or if not, what are they doing to compensate? Are we getting excessive neck extension? Or are they dropping the head down? And that's going to be our termination criteria, which we're going to look at in just a second. So termination criteria. The first one is really an increase in chin length. So this is going to correlate with excessive cervical extension, and that's the main thing that we're looking for. So let's see what that looks like right here. So I get into the position, and notice that slowly but surely, you'll see in a second, I'm going to get a little more cervical extension. Now, if you could see my chin, it would be an increase in chin length, but you'll notice here I'm getting more and more cervical extension. Now, throughout the course of this test, if they do this, it may not be as fast as you see in the video. I'm exaggerating it so you can easily see it. But when you have excessive cervical extension like that, that indicates two potential things. Number one, the superficial neck extensors are sufficient in strength. So that would include the splenius capitis and splenius cervicus. You might even consider the upper traps in there because the upper trapezius also plays a role in some neck extension. Uh, but in general, the splenius muscles are sufficient in strength. The other thing that this indicates is weakness of the suboccipitals and other deep neck extensors. So we know what the suboccipitals are from other videos. The other deep neck extensors would be semispinalis cervicus and capitis and also the multifidi. So those are some deep neck extensors that might also be weak. So if this is your finding, what do you do about it? Well, if they're weak, then you strengthen them, right? So strengthen the suboccipitals and the other deep neck extensors, okay? Now the next criteria is just inability to maintain the position. And the way this will appear is excessive cervical flexion. So instead of the neck going into extension up, now the head is going to fall downward. Okay, the head is going to drop. So let's see what that looks like. So there I've got the correct position, holding it, but slowly but surely I'm not able to maintain that position and the head begins to drop. Again, this may be quicker than what you see in the clinic. I'm exaggerating it for the purpose of the video. But when you see that excessive cervical flexion where the head drops, that means that pretty much all the neck extensors are weak. So the superficial neck extensors, the, which would be the splenius muscles, splenius cervicus and capitis, those are weak. It also means the deep neck extensors, suboccipitals, multifidi, semispinalis cervicus and capitis, those are also weak. And so what would be the treatment for that? Well, strengthen them. They're both weak, so we need to strengthen all of them. So strengthen the suboccipitals and other deep neck extensors, and then strengthen the superficial neck extensors. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of how to conduct the cervical extensors endurance test and how to interpret the findings of this. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.